uh day three is hell um so if you're free to play don't get discouraged on day three it's a really really difficult day and there are ways of getting 5,000 points if you're free to play pretty easily. You easily get 4,000. So there are th certain things that I'm going to go over in this video, things that you need to disable to make this the work, uh, because if you try to enable these, this is the hardest fight that's ever come out in Genshin ever. So uh, let's jump into it. Okay, so day three is live and we got Magu Kenki. This is going to be hard as fuck. All right, no food. Just try it out. Okay, there's there's two Magu Kenkis. Okay. Whoa, 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 my man! Oh, there's both HP parts at the top. Okay. Okay, I, I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead. I literally can't do anything. You're like frozen inside this guy's aura. So, oh my god, dude. Okay, he's just, oh, oh, oh shit. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna run this back. Okay, this guy's, this guy's nuts. This guy's nuts. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we're gonna retry that, run that back. What? Okay. Okay, we gotta get out of this. Okay. Okay, oh, I dodged it. Dodge that. Now we can dodge it because there's not like a fucking 80 of them. Look at, look at how like how much easier this is. Oh my god, this is so much easier. Those wind blades are broken, dude. This is like infinitely easier now. It was just those fucking wind blades, dude. Those 80 wind blades he was chucking at me. That's it. That was all the difficulty. Oh shit, we gotta go, we gotta go. Damn. Watch for the dines. Dodge that. Dodge. Oh, I didn't dodge in time. I'm just gonna hit this guy some more. Oh, damn. I didn't even realize my Zhongli shield was gone. Damn it! I get interrupted. Jesus. Dude, I'm having trouble getting 5k points. Wow. How did you die? Alright, we need to do more damage to this Animo dude, but he's like literally in the fucking death zone right now. Shit. 
Shit. Okay. Okay, we have a minute left. Start dodging. Fuck, I just dodged early because they're happening at the same time. Fuck, I missed that up. Fuck, oh my god, I'm so bad. I'm like watching the animal dude the whole time. Okay, start up, start up. No, 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 don't die, don't die. We need you alive. No, 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 no. Why does it have to do? Okay, you know what? I hope you don't die. Okay, the frost one's almost dead, so I can't even hit him anymore. Uh, maybe get him one time? All right. All right. All right. Oh, damn. Okay, we have time. We got, we're here, we're here, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Oh, we did it. Oh my God, so much struggle for 5K. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna go over in this video is we're gonna talk about the new Magu Kenki fight. And we're gonna talk about what you need to disable. So this, the first thing to disable is this thing called Magu Kenki Lone Gale. Now I recommend everybody who is not going for ridiculous score requirements, disable this ability. This will make the fight immensely easier and you will be able to have a much easier time. This ability overall is almost impossible to dodge and there are ways around it, but it is nearly impossible to dodge. There are, there's two ways that I found. The first we'll be showing in this video and the second you have to get behind him in a very, very quick fashion, which we'll also be showing. Okay. Um, the next thing is this second ability here called the Galloping Frost. When, whenever he does his AoE ability, he's going to um, do a dodge, like a, basically like um, a sh like a Shunpo over to you, kind of like the wolf does at you, and it'll rush you, and you'll take massive damage. There's Animo and Geo Resistance. Healing effect in this reduced, but the thing there's three of three things that make this fight extremely difficult beyond these things. Switching characters increases the damage that you take by up to a hundred percent. Using an elemental burst decreases your own crit rate by thirty five percent, which is huge. And then after the challenge begins, if you stay on a character too long, you reduce your attack percentage by fifteen percent every ten second, uh, every five seconds. So. And this guy's up to five times, which is a total of what? 75% decreased in tack uh, if you stay out for more than 25 seconds. But it lasts for 10 seconds, so you can let it fall off and then come back on that character. So just don't stay on your characters longer than, say, 10 seconds. So if we're going into the fight, those are the things that I recommend you remove. The other thing that you could remove if you wanted to is this attack the attack or decrease thing. But once you get used to the dodging mechanics, you should be okay. All right, so we're gonna enable everything. And I'm just gonna do a straight shot recording of the tips and tricks of this. So this one is gonna be max score. You can get 7,000 points, right? Uh, I'm gonna do no damage in this video because uh, we're gonna show you guys three different ways of getting around okay. these mechanics that are extremely difficult, okay? Now, the first thing that's gonna happen right when you start the fight is Magu Kenki on the left over here is gonna do this animal attack ability called the Wind Gale. Now you can try dodging it like this, but the further you go over, it's gonna get closer and closer. Now, if you get too close to him, what will happen is he actually will womp you. Now, the, the way around that, it doesn't seem that difficult here, but when you try it, it will be difficult, trust me. Second way, when he's about to cast a sword, use a Rosaria elemental skill and you can immediately get behind him and that allows you to dodge. You can also dodge frame him behind him and do that same trick, but it will take a little bit trick, a uh, little bit of luck. Um, the next way you can get around these mechanics for the for this multi wind gale mechanic is probably the most creative way and probably the best way if you do have albedo. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop an albedo elemental skill, stand on top of the albedo elemental skill, and then just five hit this guy. Okay, it's a really clever way of doing it. Uh, you can do the same trick with the Zhongli pillar. As you can see, they're approximately the same height. There's no issue. Unfortunately, though, the Zhongli pillar here, as you can see, wit is a contract that will break pretty easily. And you can use it, but it can break very, very quickly 
from this dude just juking you. Now, I'm going to use a, uh, a shield here. And I'm going to just eat this. And I'll show you guys how much damage we're going to take. So let's just say I was in melee range for this guy right here. I'm just whomping this dude real quick. Okay. We have a full Zhongli shield. We try to just eat it. You can see our shield is already gone. Just from hitting, getting hit three times. So... You're going to need to be very quick with this. This other ability over here, where he does the giant pillar of death, that's the next ability we're going to go over. This one you can actually iframe. If you can perfect frame the iframe, you can actually get around this ability very quickly. Last thing we're going to do is the Mona dodge. So here you can use Mona to just sprint away from this, but as you can see, it's really problematic if you start in one direction go left. So I would not recommend Mona as a dodging character here. You could try to spam dodge, but that's just going to be problematic. So this guy's now going to do his big ability here. You, if you time it, you can iframe the ability and not take any damage. However, the longer you stand in this, you will take damage over time. If you wanted to stand inside of this ability here, what I recommend using is a cryo resistance potion and a, and a Diona shield to stand inside this. So you can actually do damage to this animo guy. Most times what will happen is you'll be damaging this animo guy here. And because you're damaging him, he'll be inside this cryo field. So to get around that, use Diona with a shield. The Zhongli shield though, as you can see, if, after just putting it on, is almost dead. It literally is about to get shredded here at 45k HP. You can dodge these sprint abilities, but as you can see, it's already gone. So if you want to stay in melee range like this, you got to frame this and then you can use a, a like a shield to like eat up the cryo and then start doing damage here to stay in melee. But then this guy right here, when he does this, you have to dodge all the way around him to get that done. And if you're too close to the other guy, he's going to just womp you as you see here. And I have like 45k HP Zhongli shield too. So uh, this is not going to be for the faint of heart. So what I recommend doing for the main characters I would use for this fight I recommend not using Yanfei because of the 35% crit chance to increase. Now, the reason I don't recommend Yanfei is because this ability for her, her second ability here, if you use a, an ultimate skill, you're gonna have your crit chance decreased by 35%. With Yanfei, if you critical hit with a charge attack, that's when the proc comes out. So there's a full four second interval there where you're not really getting any damage off on Yanfei if you use your ultimate. So that means that you have to use three auto attacks and a charge attack in order to keep the damage up or use an elemental skill and then a charge attack following that to do damage. Uh, so that means that your ultimate ability is pretty much nullified it will help you in certain rotations to keep the damage up but it's probably not the best option because there are better options like say Fischl, which are going to be way easier now Fischl will just be on the field for a very short amount of time and oz since it doesn't have an hp pool will actually just do damage continuously to the boss so you have a much easier time by using a character like Fischl instead of a character like yanfei to do range damage Fischl can also attack on top of the albedo pillar just like on Fey, but you can switch off to other characters following this and still do damage on your official um diona will probably be a very clutch character here because of the cryo shield and mona as we saw earlier is not the best but can work if you're a whale one shotting with eula is definitely a super possible way to go there's not going to be any difficult for you if you have a c6 eula but a c0 eula is definitely not going to make the same trick happen um if you're going to be using uh other characters in the mix i'd say uh bennett is a decent character here but again kind of falls short in some areas klee would also work out here because you can actually use klee on top of an albedo thing to then launch charge attacks and range attacks from a very far distance so she would work as effectively if not more effectively than yanfei and with klee's ultimate ability you can actually attack an enemy wherever you are in the map without having to actually auto attack and focusing your dodging so klee if you do have her will probably be okay uh, Hu Tao will definitely get rocked here. We were able to clear um, with lower difficulty with Hu Tao. I'll show you that in this video as well. And um, another character that was brought up would be Sucrose. Uh, Sucrose paired with a Shinku, Beidou, and Albedo potentially could do this. I don't know. I mean, that would be a good way to go potentially. And you could like do shredding mechanics while doing auto attacks from a height. But unfortunately, Sucrose's range is really short. So you have to get on height above these guys really close to them and then start attacking whereas Fischl's range is really long and of course the number one character to use no matter what is Ganyu because she's always broken in every event no matter what it is oh the last character that we want to go over today is going to be Beidou I don't have her on my account right now but Beidou's shield is almost the same shield strength as Zhang Li when used so if I stand right next to this guy with a full Beidou shield 
before the swaps potentially i could do that but let's go ahead and swap four times so we get the damage increase mechanics on ourselves and then we're gonna go ahead and wait for this dude to do his thing okay and now i'm gonna pop the shield to see if i can do a full counter here and see if that would last as you can see, it's dropping about 6k on me, and after I swap four times, I'm going to take a massive amount of damage from this guy, because, again, there's just very few ways of using a full counter here. So, I don't know if I would recommend Beidou fully here, unless you have a very high HP Beidou build, or like multiple shields on top. So, again, here's what happens when you try dodging at too close of a range with this guy. You have to get in melee range and dodge behind him to even see that. All right, guys, my name is Sekipoko. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this fight. Uh, this is probably the most difficult content that's ever come out to Genshin ever. It's really fun. And unless you C6 whale this, I mean, there's, it's not going to be really, really, really fucking easy to get 7K. So uh, I thought this was a really good addition to the game. And it makes people think about what they can do. I'm really tr I'm curious to try it tomorrow on co-op on my main account. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, of course, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.